Rob OG in the building. Hey, Rob. Can you? Hey, speech. Can hold on. <laughs> you, scared me. you scared me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on now. We lied. Oh, you see him. You see him. Okay. Oh my gosh, you on the mic for real. Oh, you must finna you must gonna cut up a little bit. Now. We working. We 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 working, man. I I'm glad to be here on Piff Radio talking to the legendary, legendary Shay Speaks, man, and J Piff, man, Piff Radio, man. I am glad to be here. Y'all need to give me a round of applause. All right. Okay. So you guys are tuned in to Pimp Radio Podcast. I am your host, Shay Speaks Life, y'all. Hey, what up? Eh. I got DJ Rob OG in the building, and we're going to get into it. Okay, and do it. He said he ready. Look at him. Okay, okay. All right. Definitely appreciate you stopping by and getting this done here. Let's let's get into it. Now, Rob OG. Let me ask you this. Where does the name Rob OG come from? Rob Rob is short for Robert. And the OG came from like this being original. Original game, I was gonna use gangster, but that was when I was young. I thought it was tough. You know what I'm saying? I thought I thought I was a gangster, but I say like, I <laughs> just original game. We just keep it OG original game. We gonna you know keep it, keep it like that. Oh, you shortened it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Shorten it. Out. That, that, that wasn't the, that wasn't the, the name. Rob, oh, it was the, okay, Rob. You know what I'm saying? The originality. You know what I'm saying? In the game, which we call. Game of life. OG, original game. So yeah. I mean for me, you know what I'm saying, you know. Okay. So Rob OG, he said it was short for Robert. It was short for Robert. Okay. OG. Keeping it OG. All right. Tell us like who you, you know, who is Rob OG? What do you do? Raw OG, well, like everybody else, uh, I didn't come from a silver spoon. Um, you know, so just like yeah, a regular person, man, nine to five it up. Uh, got into music and actually been involved in music, just you know, dealing with that, you know, since the end of like nine years old, from you know, getting out playing like karaoke, doing karaoke stuff like that. And um you know, like Robert is saw that's like my first name. See, back at home, you know, uh, they know me as Tracy, Trey, you know, so that's you know, back at home it's like they they called you by your middle name, so so uh just moving different places and uh you know say when you put on your job applications, you know, you know, you just go by your first name. So uh, you know, say where I go, like hey, just call me Rob, just call me Rob. And then, and then like I said, that just came from years just from moving. You know what I'm saying? Just different different places. You know what I'm saying? So um, <clears throat> as far as like immediately like my hometown people, people that know me, like I said, to, I, I would say on a different note, we'd be like that. It'd be like Trey, Tracy. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Okay. So that's how uh, you know I just came with it. Then I just like, hey, it was uh, it was a brandable name for uh, for myself. You know, at the same time too to uh, establish like, okay, like okay, Rob OG just. And using that, okay, use that on all, all my social media handles uh, and stuff like that. That's why it's easier to find me, easier to search and stuff like that. Because, like, when I started off with this, like, now all over the place. Okay. So, okay. Wow, you really telling me, like, really, like, Rob OG. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. It definitely has, like, some layers to that thing, Okay. Yeah, yeah, we know some layers. Okay. But not too much damn mayonnaise, though. <laughs> you, you in this mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I like to call you Rob OG, my DJ. I love my DJ. 
right? I love like, my I love DJ. DJ. Yes. I love my DJ. Can you, you know, this is a brand as well for you, correct? Yes, I love my DJ. It's uh, the brand for me because uh, I want what I want. Um, you know, going with it is that when you associate, I love my DJ, then just from performances and stuff that I would do uh, for myself and going forward, it'd be like, okay, Rob OG, I love my DJ. You associate the two as you would uh, Elon Musk and, and Tesla. You know, Elon Musk is to the guy, then, you know, the business is Tesla. So, uh, Yes, I'm looking at it from that that point of view, and at the same time, it's like I love my DJ, so that'll be uh, at the same time other collaborations with other artists and DJs. It'd be like whatever the other DJ that is, we're doing a collaboration. But I love my DJ X that's you know playing X. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. So mm -hmm. um, even in the whole thing, even the breakdown of I'll be loving my DJ is that. Uh, the, the customer, you know, the user, the, just think about the average user. They love their DJ that plays, you know what I'm saying, all them good hits when they in the club, um, birthday parties, their weddings, you know. Yeah, they, they want to get down. So <laughs> that that's the whole thing, the concept, how it came about there, you know. For me, and to let it be easier for customers to be like, hey, I need to find a DJ to for my wedding, book my kids' birthday party, or host my mixtape. So that's how uh, I came up with that. Came up with that. Okay. So I love my DJ. Let me ask you this, Rob. Uh, how long have you been DJing? Uh, started DJing probably like in old 2008. I got my first start uh, in Huntsville, Alabama, at a club called the Bench Warmers. The uh, Bench Warmers. The Bench Warmers. That's back when Gucci just get out the bench. Gucci. The Bench Warmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when that out there. Uh, but when I did that, I, I really didn't have. I knew I wanted to do a DJ business, but. Um, as like far as the business plan, and this plan, I didn't always have this plan. It's just like, okay, different bits and pieces came along throughout my, you know, time and journey being on it. Then, like, uh, for, for a period, oh, uh, I had to, I damn near stopped DJing. I, I, I stopped DJing. Okay. Uh, you know, I tried the artist stuff, and it was just like, you know, something different. You know, it's like you tried different stuff, and some different stuff wasn't really uh, working out. And so, uh, like I said, what, what kind of sparked me back up was when uh, the launch and the, uh, the invitation when I came to Clubhouse. So when I came to Clubhouse was when, um, you know, saying, come across these different people in these rooms, uh, you know, learning, get insight. And uh, like I said, Dan, you know, like J. Pitt, running across J. Pitt, you know, um, just from different things, because like, I think I was playing, I was playing music maybe like uh, through like a loud, kind of like a loud speaker. It really wouldn't like mixing and nothing like that. But it was just like, man, he had some words. He was like, man, I need to start DJing. I was like, you know what? Yeah, because I, I, I had the ball. I do need to start back DJ. But it was more so now on this, this, this second run, I had a whole different business acumen mindset. Okay. Um, it's more prepared about uh, doing what I'm going to do, being serious about what I'm doing. Okay. And so, um, just, you know, like I said, just that conversation, man, with other people and talking to Jay, Jay Pitt himself. Like, man, you know what? I need to go and do this. Because, like, yeah, it's on Jay. He, he, got a, he got a whole catalog of different stuff that he has done. So, it's like, man, you know what? Do the same shit. Right. Right. Okay. So you would definitely say shout out to Jay Penn and Piff Radio, right? Uh, you definitely, know, for, definitely, definitely, man. Love right? my Jay Pitt, man. Piff Radio, man. They go, they got. You yeah, go, my Jay, she like, say, you know, she say, hey. I love it. I love it. Um, and so being back on Clubhouse app sparked your career back up. And so now, right? Let me ask you this. Who inspires you? Mm, who 
inspires me. Who uh, inspires? Do they, have, do they have to be in music or just or just in general? In general. I, I, um, get up, get it done. Um, I, I would just say, man, just a, like powerful people of the world, like your uh, your Jeff Bezos. Uh, you know how actually his that kind of, kind of Jeff Bezos story how he started in the garage and and basically now you know I don't know now but was you know labeled at the uh, the richest richest guy in the world at, at, you know what, last year I think mm. but I know it changes down the year to year but um just this whole concept and how he built this business built this brand and it was just like for me it's just like. How do I build a you know business? And one thing about that was just like when you build a business, you look at not only the product or the service, you just look at and ask yourself, what can I do? What can I build? What can I give to people? And how can I reach a billion people? How can I reach a trillion people? Versus just being like, I'm just gonna do this or do that and hope, hoping and you know, you can't hope. You have to be like, okay, I know I'm gonna do this, I wanna reach over a trillion. People, if you have that much of a tree, people you definitely will reach over a billion dollars. Okay, okay, so a wider reach of audience, right? Um, so being influential, right? You would be considered yeah. like an influencer, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, I definitely, got like you know, because like at, at the same time, like sometimes we don't ask to be influencers, just that when you get that lights shining on you, just like kind of. Uh, come with the territory a little bit because just like you said, you got man, like I prime example. Prime, I use this as a prime example, not even as an artist, just a regular person, nine to five, but get up, go to work every day. Okay. Yeah, like some people like got up going to work. Shit, I didn't like the shit that I, I used to do, but it, it paid the bills and you know, I had to do what I had to do. But it I have came across customers like that would tell me like. You know, I'm, I'm glad the stuff that you do. And um, they would tell me that the children wants to grow up and do the same stuff I'm doing. But in my mind, like, no, nah, you don't want to do what I'm doing. Man. You know, but it was just crazy like that. You know, just that influence and it, even the influence of coming across or just a random person. And like you said, you see me, I'm mean, just in your life about 30, 45 seconds and I'm gone. But within that 30 to 45 seconds, you can change somebody's outlook, perspective on the life. You can make okay. the day a better day, you know, be having a balance. So. Okay, I like that. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So. You can influence without even trying. So. Very true. That's very true. Okay. So, well, let me ask you this, right? Okay. Who's your favorite artist? Dead or alive. I feel like we can do two. We can do two categories. We can do. We, we can, can do, do dead alive two. or just favorite artists. <laughs> we can do. We can do two. two. Look, <laughs> sure, we can do the two. All right, we can do the two. Uh, I'll say dead. Uh, dead artists. Dead artists. Um. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, damn. No, no, no. Hold on. So I got two. I, I kind of cheated. I got two. I like Big and Pop. Okay. Big and Pop. I like Big and Pop. And uh, as of right now, the artists I like are listening to, uh, I think, uh, I, I like, I really like, I really like uh, Young Nudie. I like the body of work, the music he's been putting out. Young you know, I, okay. I, I yeah. I okay. like his movement, everything that's going on with that, the whole stuff. So, okay, so Big like Impact and you and Nudie, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, okay. For sure. So, uh, what do you most enjoy about DJing? Man, hey, when when you DJ, the thing about I most enjoy is just like. It's like being the choir director. Turn y'all ass up. Hey. 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 Okay. Hey, if I need y'all to calm down a little bit, I might play something that's going to 
you know, smelled it like a five, but if I want to get them 10 that ass up. Oh, hold, hold oh, up. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 You feel me? <laughs> hey, okay. So you like a quieter answer. Okay, I like that. You know, I like that. Over there, like, ladies over here. Like, hey, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all got your drinks in the hand. Get your ass to the dance floor and chase some ass right now. You like, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay. You I already love it. I love it. I love co-hosting with you, uh, DJ Rob, because you 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 know you're DJ Ratchet Rob with me. Uh, I love yeah. co-hosting <laughs> with you for sure, because you know I'm straight Atlanta East Side all day. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that's my side though. Y'all love I love East Atlanta. You know you know I love East Atlanta. East Atlanta. Okay, now you say when you country. Okay. So, <laughs> look, uh, so look, so. I don't know what you create. We, I actually learned something about about you, but one of the questions that I wanted to ask you was like, tell us a fun fact about yourself that we wouldn't know. Um, do you have something? A fun fact about um, you? Fun fact. Oh. Fun facts. Fun we facts, fun facts. Uh, I would say fun facts, man. Like, I feel like out here, I like doing a lot of uh, outdoor activities and I'll probably be, it'd be, I don't care who it is, it can be anybody. We can line uh, some events up, but we can do go-kart races. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I love the race. You know what I'm saying? I used to do street racing and all that other stuff. But like, if I can get a good competitive group, we'll come out here. We can, uh, we can go go-kart racing and just to show y'all how y'all, uh, how you're really supposed to have to drive. Okay, all right. So a fun fact about Rob's right here, Tatum got it. Yeah, we can go racing, man. We can go racing. We can do all that. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. Good old boy, country out there in Alabama. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a couple people trying to take me mud. Uh, mud called muddy. You like muddy? Some, some of my white friends, man. They, they you know, take me muddy, man. They down to like going to the woods, man. They, <laughs> Hey, look, come on, bro. Hey, it's crazy. Come on, try, try going to down some four wheels, man. I'm trying to tell you, it's crazy. It is crazy. So you be out there muddy. I can see you with some. No, no, no. I tried that one time. You be no, I be scared. Out? I be scared in the woods getting stuck. <laughs> oh well, uh, no, I don't play like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't play like that. I can't go in the woods and be stuck nowhere. Oh my goodness! Bunch of mud and water. I'll be thinking about snakes and shit, so. So you don't do the snakes. Okay, cool. So what is your five-year goal? Oh, five-year goal. Five like, it's five-year. Actually, I'm trying to shorten it. I'm, I'm giving myself five years. Max. Okay. But um, like five-year goal is basically to uh, position myself um, to where um, – I'm actually in a position to for better uh, endorsement deals, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And having my uh, DJ brand uh, pretty much well established to where we're actually doing and hosting venues, uh, maybe simultaneously uh, across the country. Because the um, the whole idea and the goal is to, like, uh, even like where JP at, like other promoters and, and, and stuff like that, we're basically like get them signed up for like, uh, like like a franchising, uh, it's like a franchise fee to use the popularity name and likeness of. I love my DJ for them to host those events there and stuff like that. I think you know, cause think about it, how to meet certain criteria to you know make sure to think about uh, the reputation of just you know it being a safe place, a safe space for people. No matter if you take your flight, uh, Shay, if you take a flight to California mm -hmm. or you take a flight to New York. Pull up that I love my DJ app and be like, you know, ask yourself, what do you want to do? You going, are you gonna do uh, are you gonna do a reggae club? Are you gonna do a country rock club, jazz, blues? That information is gonna be there in the app. And so my thing in the next five years to be up uh, to have subscriptions up. That's the whole thing. Uh, okay. subscription, a subscription-based plan, um, uh, and you know, provide a great service uh, to the community. Okay. And a solid service. Okay. Which can which will be achievable in uh in, in less than five years. Okay. 
So being able to provide a service with, 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 okay, taking that business and that brand to a whole nother level, right? So right. are there um, any specific genres uh, of music that you specialize in DJing? Uh Specialize, man, I specialize in vibes. That's what I, I say, I specialize okay, in Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like that, okay. I specialize in the vibes. So it don't matter, see, I just can't say a certain genre of music because now I feel like I'm limiting myself. Okay. You know, I'm limiting, I'm limiting myself. Right. Me? It's like, hell, you come to me, hell, like I said, no job, no task too high, no nothing too small. So it don't, um, like I say, it don't matter. I'm going to get it done. Okay. Okay, awesome. So where can the listeners, what platforms can the listeners uh, hear you on? And where will you find you? Well, actually, it's easier to find me on Rob OG12 on Instagram and on Twitter. You just type in uh, I love, so that's I. L O B, my DJ, and then that is on Twitter, and that's the same handle you can also find myself on uh, Clubhouse. So it's an I L O B, my DJ. It's also uh, the same handle for Twitter and Clubhouse. And from there, like in my Clubhouse bio, I do do uh, pop up rooms. We do pop up rooms, uh, topic discussion rooms, and. Uh, music rooms so uh just a variety of just different different things and uh so on like that but a lot of times i'm always open in the evenings between you know 4 and 12. okay but in the daytimes i do uh i do run social engagements uh with uh clubhouse orphans air uh piloted by Javi wear shay speaks uh j pitt Shibaria, Aaron, and uh, the whole gang, man. Anybody else I, I missed out, uh, I do I do apologize. You know, shout out to you all. Hey, Clubhouse Orban, it's air. No, definitely for sure. So I love my DJ. It definitely was a pleasure interviewing Rob OG, I learned a fun fact about you today. And even your middle name, I didn't know that was your middle name. So that was great to even fit, find that out. That was really a fun fact for me. And I was like, oh, I, I really, I, I paid attention. I wrote that one down. Okay. Right. I paid attention. Right. <laughs> I definitely appreciate you coming on to the Pip Radio show in the Pip Radio podcast. I am your I'm host. Let y'all have me. I'm let y'all have me. You're going to let us have it. Yeah, yeah, y'all be sure to tune in, tune in, man. You know what I'm saying? We stay lit, we stay fit each and every day, man. Rob OG, be sure to tap in, man. Tap in with your boy. All right, I appreciate it. Appreciate that. I am your host, the Shea Speaks Life, and I'm out. All right, awesome. Salute so wait. To you.